Uh, hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Whoops. Um, this is your general love reading for uh, July. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. Okay, so this, um, if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. Okay, this section is really for those that just kind of um, prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, guys, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So I'm just going to take these in. We'll be. So Gemini, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. Um, I'm going to pick on up with this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you could always flip switch and just put it on. Uh, any, you can flip switch at any side um, that resonates the most. Okay, and of course, if this doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner um, of the screen. All right, so let's start. Hmm. All right, so something happened. Something definitely happened. Let me move these cards down. Something definitely happened. Not sure what happened, but something happened that caused you to put up your guards, be a bit frosty and icy with this person. Um, that Queen of Swords way of thinking. It's like your boundaries have just gone up. You know, made you, you kind of, I don't want to say, it kind of putting a lid on your emotions, not wanting to acknowledge how you feel. Something's happened, this person's done something, or you feel they've done something, which caused you to kind of respond in this way. Um, Yeah, it caused, you know, it created doubt. Created doubt with the five of wands there. Maybe some drama, some conflict as well. Um, yeah, it caused you to just kind of pull back and just slow things right down based on where you wanted to go, which is that King of Pentacles. The Peel of Pentacles talks about having, um, you know, putting work in something and having established something ultimately, having established something. So you want to wanted to establish something with this person but you pulled right back something's happened that's caused you to just want to put a lid on your emotions and lid on your you know yeah and and there is this awareness or feeling of waiting as well like I'm, I'm putting a stop to my emotions even if you can I mean I can you is that something that people can do put a stop to their emotions can you put a stop to your emotions I think you could put a stop to your emotions. I feel like you can redirect your emotions. There we go. Um, but you're not wanting to acknowledge your emotions. So there is this feeling of waiting. There is this feeling of waiting. It takes great strength for you to do that as well. And it's, you know, definitely uncomfortable for you where you're standing. And this is kind of the recent past where you guys are coming from. But at the same time, this person wanted to move this forward. They wanted to advance this. They wanted to change things. They wanted to advance where you guys were at you know come out on top something happened something came crashing down or maybe some information came out a shock uh, i feel like maybe it might have been a shock to this person definitely something came crashing down to some degree which has caused them to be a bit confused nevertheless they're still still putting in work or trying to get this back get you back try to make you understand just they can be doing that by yeah just trying to make it up to you really trying to make it up to you this is causing a, a burden or was causing a burden um it's causing a burden you know recognizing that you just put your boundaries up with them you're guarded with them gone so cold that's how they feel it's like this person suddenly changed it's like they're so guarded with me where before they wasn't you know what i've done I need to kind of fix. I need to try and uh, fix and take a risk on this, regardless of whether this person, Gemini, is not answering when he calls, whether they're not responding to text messages, whether they're saying they're not interested. I still got, I still got, you know, take a risk on this. 
And this person has come up with some form of idea or solution that they feel they're going to, that's going to fix this though, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, you're kind of showing up as, you, you know, poker face. You're showing up as the loon. So the loon talks about a lack of clarity, not having clarity. And that's how you're kind of showing up. This this person not knowing or anyone really uh, would know what's really going on behind the scenes when it comes to you and your thoughts and feelings about this situation. It's like you've got a poker poker face on. They wouldn't pick up on, you know, what's going on in there. What's going on in there? Stun. You're stunned. It's like I'm you're serious. It's like, you know, if this person doesn't impress me, if this person doesn't, you know, whatever movie if they're not they're not what's the word? They're not they're not making much headway with the effort that they're trying to put in. They need to impress you a bit more. And I don't say in that in a lighthearted way. I say that in a very serious way because, you know, you've got your foot down. It's like this is the emperor. This is your thinking. Yes, you do want to fix this. There's some level of awareness of, of course, you wanting to fix this, you know, but you're standing firm. You're, you're standing firm on what it is that you would accept, what it is that this person needs to do. Oh, you know, because there's disappointment there. It's like this person has disappointed you. Whatever happened is, 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 you know, really disappointing you because I feel like, you know, with the, with the Knight of Cups, sorry, the Nine of Cups and the Four and the Nine of um, Pentacles, this is someone at one point you was in a good space with. You know, things were good. You was feeling good. A foundation had been laid. You was making moves towards that king. You know, you was advancing things. You wanted to advance things. And then something happened that just caused you to just go with your barriers and your boundaries. And it's like, you know, put a kind of a halt to this. But this person has come up with some form of solution, some magical idea or this brilliant idea that they have to fix this. You know, to fix this. They feel like it's going to, they think it's going to be a, a success. The thing is going to be, I'm just looking to see if there's any marriage cards here. Because I can hear some of you say, they better not try and propose to me. <laughs> they better not try and propose to me. Um, yeah, the thing is definitely going to be success. They want to fix this. They want to fix this. You know, they want to bring this back around again. There's disappointment now. It's like, there's disappointment now. You know, uh, acknowledging, I should say, that there is, you know, there's disappointment there. They've disappointed you. They've disappointed the connection. Maybe they've even disappointed their cell. But they're wanting to fix this and they're wanting um, it to be successful. They think on some level it's going to be successful. With that ace of one, definitely there is this feeling of, okay, so this is going to give me an opportunity, give us an opportunity for us to start something new and actually create something new, start again and paint a new picture. So um, look out for that, Gemini. You know, they're going to put work in as well. There's going to be effort that's been put into that, towards that Queen of Wands, which represents you. Now, don't worry about whether it being a woman or a man. You know, um, if you're a man, the Queen of Wands is an energy. You know, someone who's highly attractive, driven, worthy, ultimately, as a queen. Towards that Ten of Pentacles, which represents relationship and, you know, the ultimate highest level of uh, relationship. On a tangible level, commitment, exclusivity, marriage, even moving in together, that type of thing. Yeah. So, you know, you're thinking, okay, this person needs to impress me. And I feel like this person has an idea that is about to impress you. We shall see. We shall see. I mean, usually at this point, we move into part two and it kind of expands on this um, for those that are interested. I will be implementing that in the next week, guys. So just look out for that. But as it stands, as it stands, yeah. You know, this person wants to get you back. This person's sorry. They acknowledge in that. You know, there's been disappointment there. And you're just kind of disappointed in them. However, there is this, and this is if you're honest with yourself as well, there is this awareness of, you know, I, I, I do want to fix this. I do want to mend this. But this person has to come correct. They have to tick all the box. They have to push the buttons. They have to. Ha they have to hit the right combination. There we go. Cross watch. You're gonna have to hit that. 
you know, push the right combination when it comes to getting this person back, like getting your Gemini back. Okay. So hopefully that's given you some form of clarity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week, guys.